Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. I'll be uploading this video Tuesday. You, as you know, I like to do personal growth on Tuesday. I know it's not budgeting, but I feel like in order to do well at budgeting, eating healthy, I feel like it's the whole picture. So I wanted to ask you guys a question. The subject of this video is, your differences are your greatest strengths. Do any of you guys feel like you're really different or you don't fit in? I know we've talked about this subject before, but I felt for some reason really led to do this video. I all my life have felt really different, like I just didn't fit in, and I know I've mentioned that. And you're going to ask, well, why is that? I've been told numerous times over the years that I'm weird, which I am. Hey, I own it. I'm loud, which I am. I mean, because a lot of times when I go out in public, you know, I try not to. My, they, I've been told so many times you don't have an indoor voice and you don't know how to whisper. And I have to be honest and tell you that is kind of true. My whispering skills are lacking. And um, that I ask strange questions or I talk about weird things. To be honest, I will own this. I do all those things. But on the other hand, you're going to say, well, Dawn, how can any of that be a strength? Well, let me tell you why. Because I'm really open, and I, I feel like I'm overall a non-judgmental non person. I love people of all religions, races, uh, cultures, um, lifestyles. I just love people. It doesn't matter. You know, I figure we all come, you know, from different areas in our world. I haven't walked in their shoes. I always love to learn new things. I don't like to just assimilate with the same kind of people. I like to meet all different kinds of people. And because of me being kind of strange and out there, I can open up some really interesting conversations where people have not felt comfortable talking about maybe a certain topic, but they'll open up to me about it. And I was talking to another friend the other day that had told me, you know what, Don? I really appreciate how you ask me questions, how I'm doing, or you ask what kind of things interest me or what my favorite hobbies are, or, you know, or if I'm passionate about something. She says a lot of people don't do that. And that is so true. I have to be honest with you guys. I've been around a lot of people. It's very rare that anyone ever says, Dawn, how are you doing today? How was your day? What did you two do today? Or what are you excited about? You know, well, tell me more about your YouTube channel. Or tell me more about the book you're reading. Or it could be anything. I'm just thinking of things off the top of my head. Very few people do that. I do feel that my strength is I really take an interest in other people and it's a genuine interest. I'm not asking to be nosy. I will admit I am a little nosy. But I'm really not asking to be nosy. I really love to know what people are passionate about and what excites them. Because if they're excited, I'm excited and I'm excited for them. So this does make, it, make me really, really different. And I wanted to find out from you guys what makes you really different? I want to also mention about my daughter. My daughter, Caroline, is quiet. And so is actually my husband. And I remember when she was younger, you know, people would say, well, you know, she should socialize more and she should get out more. Like they wanted her to go to these camps and things and she had no interest in going. And I had to pay for the camps and I was not going to pay for something that didn't interest her. Well, she's quiet, but guess what? She has some dear friends, one of them she's been friends with since she's been a baby, the skill that makes her very different from everyone is her listening skills are phenomenal. She is a wonderful sounding board. She gives great advice if asked for. And she's an excellent listener. And how many more excellent listeners do we need? I know that I would like to, or I would like to work on my listening skills because I know I talk a lot. And sometimes it would be good for me to just sit back and listen and not always feel I need to interject something. So I wish I was more like my sweet daughter and my wonderful husband because they, they are really good listeners. So this, I will end the video by just asking you guys, what makes you different? Because whatever makes you different, I feel it's a gift from God. God made you that way and you can use it for your strength. Some people might look at you like you're a little odd or, you're, you know, or just might think you're a little bit strange. But you know what? Let's own it. That's all I have to say, guys. I want to hear your feedback on this subject, and I love you. Bye. Hi, guys. I know I already said I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. 
But I wanted to mention to do a shout out. I want to really get in the habit of doing shout outs. I don't know if I'll do them every day, but at least a couple days a week because there's a lot of people that deserve support. I want to do a shout out to a fairly new channel, Baby Step Brad, and I just love the channel. And I just think he's hilarious. He's from New York. He's really funny and really animated. And he keeps my attention because he's very lively in his discussion. He's also a teacher, so he must keep his students' attention. Check out his channel because he's going through the baby steps and he just does it in a really fun animated way and he's a lively character. I'm going to link him below. Go tell him that um, Money Mom said to say hi. I appreciate you guys and by the way tomorrow I am doing a video on what I eat in a day and there's a new update with that and that you'll hear about it tomorrow. This is Money Mom signing off. Thank you for letting me do the add-on. Bye-bye.